Okay, so welcome to part three. So uh, we're both, I'm basically just carrying on where I left off in part two, where we created uh, a basic patch. I'm just going to go back to the sawtooth. Um, yeah, we just created a basic patch, and we got pitch control and gate control over the um, the uh, the VCO. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is slightly different in this one uh, to what I said at the end of part two. I said I was going to control the uh, VCA with an envelope. I'm going to save envelopes for the next one. Uh, envelopes and LFOs are going to come up. Uh, what I thought I'd do for this one is we'll look at the filter, because we've not looked at the filter yet, so we can start to sort of shape the tone of the sound before we start to uh, affect its uh, amplification. So, this is how we left off last time. Um, so we need to leave these where they are, because that's controlling the, the gate for the, um, the keys, and that's controlling the pitch. Now we need to do a bit of different routing down here. So, we want the... Um, before we go to the amp, we're going to pass the audio signal through the filter. Okay, so the CV controls for one and two will get covered in later videos. They're to do with controlling the filter with an envelope or an LFO, so don't worry about those at the moment. The, the CV2 dial here, that's the amount of control voltage uh, to that input, uh, again, which we'll cover later. So the other dials that we're going to be looking at, we've got frequency, okay, standard thing on a filter. Level is the volume of the audio input. Again, we've got kind of level controls on most things, so it's just a case of balancing all of those up. We've got the resonance, which is going to give us an, uh, a resonant boost at the uh, cutoff point. And then we've got the mix down here, because the way this works is um, you've got either a bandpass filter or a low pass and high pass. So the bandpass is a, a separate output, and that will let through a band of, of frequencies, depending on um, how where this dial is. And then the low pass and high pass, we've got this mix function. So when it's all the way over to the left, it's a low pass. So that's going to let the low frequencies through and start to filter out the high frequencies. If it's all the way over to the right, that turns it into a low pass filter, which is going to work the opposite way around. So that's going to filter out all the, uh, sorry, it's going to filter out the low frequencies and let the high frequencies pass through. And then you can kind of mix between the two. When it's right in the middle, it gives you a, a notch filter as well. So... Again, if you're not entirely sure about what I'm talking about on filters, keep an eye out on my uh, synthesis tutorial um, series because I'm going to cover filters very, very soon, actually, um, and they will make more sense. For now, I'm going to keep it as a low-pass. Generally, I, I kind of m usually mostly use a low-pass filter because I like them. Um, right, so the audio out, which is here, which is coming from our oscillator, is now going to go to the audio in of the filter, just there. Okay, and we're going to take... So the sound is now passing through there into this filter, we're going to take the output, let's get another cable, from the low pass, high pass out. I've got it all on low pass setting. And then we're going to put that now into the audio where it went before, into the amp. Okay. So when we now play on the keyboard, I've now got filter control. So... So let's just turn the resonance all the way down first and we'll just have a quick play with the filter. resonance all the way up, we can get a nice kind of filter sweep and make it screech a little bit. Just turn that level down a little bit. Yeah, you've got to watch because I've got all these inputs are going a little bit high, so we're getting a bit of distortion on those. So again, it's just a bit of a balancing act at times. Okay, that's better. That's a lot cleaner. Okay, so yeah, great, I can play filters all day. <laughs> I'm so sad. Um, so let's have a listen to the filter on the, the other uh, oscillators. So on the square. And the 
the triangle. Okay, so um, there we go. That's that's the filter. Uh, so we've got now a bit more sound shaping capabilities. Um, at the moment, obviously, our notes are... I'm just going to go back to the sort. Okay, so at the moment, obviously, the sound, the, the length of the sound, we've only basically got note on, note off. Okay, so when I press down on the keyboard, we get a sound. As soon as I take my finger off, we don't get a sound. Okay, so it's basically just sort of note on, note off messages at the moment. We can change that by using um, an envelope, which will control the VCA, which is going to come up in uh, the next bit, which I think is part four. So keep an eye out for that. That's going to be coming up pretty soon. So we can then start to shape the volume of the sound over time. Um, let's just bang a little bit of a few effects on here and just have a play about just to finish this video off. So I'm just going to put a bit of reverb and delay on. I was going to put a sequence on actually on the micro group. So I can just have a play about with the filter a little bit so my hands free. Okay, let's just I'll just sort of demonstrate the other filter type actually. So um, that's the low pass. I'm just going to go back to the saw again. Okay, if we go all the way around to the high pass. Okay, and then. Okay, so that basically works in the opposite way around to the low pass. If we go in the middle, or we can kind of mix between the two, but if we take it right in the middle. You get a notch. Which kind of like just sort of digs out a, a bit of the frequencies. It's sort of in the, when it's in the middle of the frequency range, it'll sort of leave the highs and the lows and take out the mids, basically. Um, and then the band pass will kind of just sweep up and down, letting through frequencies sort of in the middle. Or the lower the high, depending on where this is. And again, so you can get almost a bit of a vocally kind of, you know, wow wow kind of sound with a uh, the band pass filter. Again, watch the video on uh, filters on my synthesis thing, and that'll make a little bit more sense. Okay, I think that's it for this one then. So yeah, like I say, in the next one we'll start to apply an envelope um, onto the VCA so we can uh, change the the way the sound works over time. Um, and usual things, please like, subscribe. Um, any questions or comments or suggestions for future videos, please stick those in the box below. If you're feeling generous and you want to help me buy more of this stuff, uh, there is a PayPal donation link in the description. Or just go and stream my songs millions of times on Spotify. There's also links in there or Apple Music or Deezer or whatever. Okay, thanks for watching and I will see you in part four. Cheers.